In chapter six, we are going to start up the system. Turn on the gas and check for gas leaks in the piping. With all the other gas appliances turned on, check the gas pressure to verify that the inlet pressure stays consistent above five inches of water column. Introduce a call for heat and check the manifold gas pressure. The regulator should be set at 3.5 inches. Turn on all other appliances. Verify the gas pressure does not drop below five inches on the inlet and that the manifold pressure stays consistent. Set burner combustion, check flame signal, and then draft. And lastly, check the firing rate. Now that your Easy Gas Pro Burner is installed, you're gonna to wanna to start the unit and you're gonna to wanna to check your combustion numbers. On page 13 of the manual, we'll give you the combustion parameters for natural gas and propane. Start the unit, let it get up to steady state efficiency, let it run for 15 or 20 minutes. Take a reading in the flue pipe with your analyzer. Make sure that your gas burner is within the parameters of those combustion numbers. For setting the draft on the unit, you're gonna to wanna to take a draft over fire on the unit and in the breaching. You wanna to refer to the appliance manufacturer's instruction manual. You wanna set the draft at, in the breach at the required setting and you should have the over fire pressure at the required setting on the oil settings in their manual. Now that you've checked combustion and your easy gas burner is completely installed, you're gonna to wanna to check your flame signal on the burner. Once the burner starts and the green light is established on the primary control, you're gonna to wanna to take your three millimeter plug plugged into your meter and plug it into the front of the control. The minimum flame signal required for the Easy Gas Pro Burner is 0.8 microamps. You can read the instructions on how to check this flame signal on page 10 of the Easy Gas Pro instruction manual.